Hello everyone and welcome to Serial Key Generator demonstration for C++ Builder and Delphi developers. In this video I'm going to show you what Serial Key Generator is and how to use it. Well, let's start by showing this simple application and it only, it only contains one form. Uh, here you can see uh, five edit boxes uh, intended for a user to input its serial key and upon clicking validate serial key your application should recognize if that serial key is valid or not right so how to do it well uh, to do it first of all you need to generate some serial keys uh, in this case i'm creating serial keys that have five columns and four characters in each column and those characters would be a combination of uppercase and number characters right so after generating some serial keys, uh, I simply say export to CSV TXT. So uh, I export these uh, serial keys to a file to simply save them for my future reference. I can also later on load those serial keys from a file into application itself if necessary, right? Okay, so what is the next step? Uh, the next step is uh, how to validate those serial keys. Well, there are two options here. First, uh, there is offline serial key validation and online serial key validation. Offline serial key uh, validation allows your customer to uh, validate serial key even if he is not connected to the internet. So how to do it? Uh, to do it, you need to save these files into a registration file. A registration file is an encrypted file that contains all of your serial keys. And once you generate some serial keys, you will have uh, this option generate uh, new and in here uh, this dialog appears that will ask us okay what is the file name of this registration file uh, so i will save it as serials dot uh, it's pretty much uh, it's not important what the name is or what the extension is it's really up to you but what is important is the id string ID string uh, describes the set of your serial keys. So in this case, we say all of these serial keys are full version serial keys. So later on, I can generate, for example, additional five, 10 or 50,000 or whatever number I want uh, additional serial keys and say they are trial version serial keys or 45 day version serial keys or whatever I really need, right? And uh, for these purposes, uh, demonstration purposes, we are going to just use these five serial keys and we are going to say these are full version serial keys. Generate. And now our serial keys are uh, stored inside uh, serials that uh, file. So this is our registration file. And what is important is that uh, this file is in the same folder as your application that is going to validate uh, the serial keys, right? Okay, and the next step is uh, after you generated your registration file, you need to choose a programming language uh, or a script. In our case, it's going to be C++ Builder, okay? And uh, after that, you will have uh, part uh, where you can see the code. Uh, to use uh, serial key validation in C++ Builder and Delphi, uh, the best way is to simply uh, install the components from this link. So these are already prepared components for offline and online serial key registration. So after you uh, install those components, you will find them uh, somewhere here. It's so many of those. Uh, okay, so here they are. Okay, this is for offline uh, serial key validation component and this is for online serial key validation, which I will show in a minute, right? So what I need to do is to simply place this component here on the form, okay? And you have a property, uh, all these properties here that you can uh, uh, define uh, in object inspector but you can also use this validation uh, part here uh, clicking this button will simply select all and uh, copy into memory 
So when clicking this button, I paste this code here. And what it does, it initializes the registration file component. Let's try. Okay, I run the application. And now let's test some of the serial keys. Uh, for example, this one. serial key found. And as you can see, uh, our C++ Builder application was able to find this serial key inside the registration file. And from this point on, uh, it's up to you to decide uh, to define what happens after serial key was found. Uh, you, you can write your client's uh, information inside, uh, for example, Windows registry or some file or whatever uh, approach you decide to use. So uh, what you do here is simply say, uh, this is the registration file that contains all of my serial keys. This is uh, his hash value. <coughs> hash value. Uh, it is used to uh, see if anyone tampered with the registration file, for example, trying to uh, change its content. Uh, if it happens, uh, the hash value will be changed and your application will be able to say, uh, okay, hash check failed, meaning somebody uh, tried to, like I said, change the registration file. So you can see what can happen. A serial key uh, is found, file is not found, meaning registration file is not found, hash check failed, serial key not found and file reading error. Okay, so uh, if you use this uh, component, uh, registration file component, pretty much it's very simple. And this component is, uh, like I said, available for C++ Builder and Delphi. Okay, so this is uh, the offline uh, serial key validation, when you uh, validate serial key from inside the registration file. So I'm just going to uh, delete this now, in order to uh, demonstrate another approach and it is by using uh, MS SQL uh, uh, registration component. So this component uh, is used when you want to uh, validate serial keys online. So in order to validate these serial keys online, first I need to transfer them to some online database, for example, like Microsoft SQL Server. In order to do that, uh, serial key generator can uh, generate uh, a query. So when generating a query, uh, it is asked, okay, what DB engine do you use? Microsoft SQL Server, for example, what table name is going to be used to store those serial keys? Uh, what is the table field where my serial keys will be located? What is the ID string? And I always recommend that you have uh, this checkbox checked meaning uh, all, I, uh, all our serial keys will be uh, encrypted using uh, this hash function. So once I click OK, I get this query. And uh, now I have my local database, test database here. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new query. And I'm going to select all copy and paste it here. Execute. And now I'm going to refresh this. So as you can see, a, a new table appeared. And here are our serial keys and they are all encrypted. So now I have my serial keys inside my online database. And how do I validate them from inside my application? And like I said, it's pretty simple using this component. Uh, all you need to do again is to use a source code generator. In the first case, we used source code generator for, regist uh, for a registration file. And in this case, we are going to use source code generator for Microsoft SQL Server. So when using this source, source code generator, you need to define a connection string uh, to your database. So I'm going to define a provider for a SQL server 
and I'm going to choose my database test DB uh, test DB allow saving password uh, must be checked in order for your password to be saved inside the connection string choosing a database test DB test connection okay so I have uh, generated my connection string uh, so what's the next step what is the table name serials as we can see here field name is serial key so that's this ID string that was used was full version and my uh, serial keys are encrypted by hash encryption so this checkbox is checked and I'm selecting here C++ builder okay and once again I get source code generator so uh, we have uh, these components installed already place the button component and inside the T button I'm going to use this code so I just copy all this and inside the button I simply paste this uh, I need to use a backslash here because it is, it is instance server full version serials okay so let's test this uh, where is our application okay so I believe we tested uh, this one from registration file now let's test this from online database serial key found and as you can see our application was able to connect to our online database and check uh, for this serial key uh, if it exists out there so and it's up to you to, to define what happens next uh, how do you write your client uh, information on its computer or for example you can say okay if serial key is found uh, then connect to my database and uh, increase uh, number of used licenses by one or something like that so it's really up to you how to proceed further and that's it guys uh, i hope uh, that you uh, will recognize how easy it is uh, and how fast and easy it is to use a serial key generator to uh, generate serial keys and validate them inside c builder and delphi applications you can also find here uh, example projects uh, to review them if you uh, are stuck somewhere uh, instructional videos for C++ Builder and for DeFi is the same and for other programming languages and scripts also uh, I will mention one uh, other feature and that is the validate and modify content you have it in inside the registration file and Microsoft SQL Server uh, all it does uh, is opens uh, it opens a registration file for example this is our registration file and uh, I'm, I was using full version uh, ID string and it allows you to validate some custom serial key if it exists in your registration file to add some custom serial key or to delete some custom serial key from registration file all this is uh, like I said uh, possible uh, when serial keys are uh, inside uh, SQL Server so that's it guys I hope you find it interesting and like always uh, if you have any questions you can contact me at vclexamples.com thank you for watching and see you next time